down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, up, up. Welcome back one and all to Fire Emblem Three Houses. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time we had a paralog that was actually really hard. Just because I wasn't thinking straight, wasn't thinking clearly, and we got the what the Divine's Hero Relic Crusher, which Annette can use for some reason. It's a hammer. I expected it to be her father's, but no, it's it's hers. Her father doesn't have a crest. Go away, straight talk message. I don't care about your Whatever bullshit snake oil sale you're offering me. Okay, instruct. Shit, no one's motivated. Okay, automatic instruct. I want to ask you. What is it? I drink. I think alcohol consumption increases as we continue to fight. Day after day after day after, oh, I mean for the monastery as a whole, dear, not just me. Still, is it something we should be careful about? Focus on limiting your intake. Uh, I'm gonna say this. I'd like everyone to avoid excessive drinking. Everyone. Have a drink to calm your nerves, but don't overdo it. I get it. Thank you. Professor. A grimmery. Okay. Faith skills. I did Skywatch this time. Hmm. Let's give it a try. I am a little worried. Pardon me, Professor. We're all done. Good work. And Felix hit S class. Good on ya. Owen Flame hit A plus on her faith. I'm just not there yet. Is this what success feels like? It seems my proficiency has improved. Aha! Uh -huh. Always something new to learn. Excellent work. Going to go ahead and explore the monastery today. See Mercedes right out in front of me. How about some dinner? These two will enjoy that. This looks delicious. Let's eat. This is my absolute favorite. How did you know, Professor? There is some support. Oh, Mercedes is just outside. There's my favorite bishop. It looks like we're all set with food supplies, thanks to Lord Rodrigue. That is good. We have more soldiers to feed now, so we'll still need to ration. 
But I think we have enough extra to make some tasty treats. I'll go scout the pantry. We shouldn't be wasteful, but that sounds wonderful. Well, we can enjoy it together over some tea. Thunder! I'm getting the hang of this. Castle Gaspar, where I was living, is under the control of House Roe, who have submitted to the Empire. That's rough. If I hadn't come to Garrig Mach, I might have ended up as your enemy at ALL. That thought makes me really happy to be here now. I don't think I would have been able to handle facing all of you in battle. Got some advanced drills on axe and bow. Well, I'd rather focus on my axe skills. Thank you. Let's go to the greenhouse. I don't like the fact it doesn't let me buy bait. I mean, I might be able to... I don't know. training grounds do that bow competition I believe in you Ash well. it's my duty I really wish you wouldn't have taken the hit there Seriously, dude, get What's your the only speed way? up. At least get dodgy on us. Dude! What's the only way? You have gotta get dodgy. I didn't think so. Come on, man. You're better than that. in my uncle's hands what is the old man thinking I don't know I always knew my father was mad but this time he's gone too far I'm actually grateful to him you know easy for you to say you hardly know the man he is giving us supplies and troops dude only a fool would abandon his own territory I can see where you're getting from though Mirrors further inside. There she is. So, how's Regan accept still? We can't let her. If we advance, I just hope. So, how still? If we advance, I just hope. Uh, invite to tea? Hmm. Okay, you don't want to go for tea. Gilbert can help me with. Here, choir coordinator. Ingrid and Flame. 
because I need to get some motivation up in my students. Regardless of in my quality, house. This is a good chance for us to prove our solidarity. It is so much fun to sing with others. Now, let's look at support. Ash and Cyril, okay. Hey, Ash. Hey there, Cyril. Is something on your mind? Well, I just... I wanted to thank you for helping me. That was five huh? years ago. What do you mean? You know, when you helped me with cleaning up the library? Oh, right. That was quite a while ago. I'd completely forgotten about it. No need to thank me, though. It was nothing. Do you need help with anything today? I've got some spare time. I really don't mind. Well, I'd rather take care of the stuff I've been asked to do on my own. I could give you a hand, though, couldn't I? Yeah, you could, but I sure would rather you didn't. Me doing those jobs is why I get to stay here, even though I'm an Almiran. Oh, so it's a status thing. I can understand that. I can get pretty awkward if I ever have to ask a favor from a noble. Exactly. That's why I don't want anybody's help. You don't need to feel that way around me, though. I'm just a commoner. I'm only in here thanks to a bit of luck. So really, I'm just the same as you. I don't know if that's exactly true, but maybe. Either way, birth and social status don't really matter for us, do they? After all, we're friends, right? Friends? Yeah, and when a friend needs you, you've got to help, don't you? I don't know. I guess I've never been anybody's friend before. It's easy. Awkward. If I'm in trouble, you help me out. And if you need something, I help you too. Just don't be a dick. Huh. Unless okay. it's in jest. But I've packed up for the day already, so maybe you could help me out next time? Sure. Whenever you need a hand, just let me know. Ash is my friend. And friends help each other out. Yeah, that sounds nice. Mercedes and Cyril! <sighs> and he's asleep again. Did Cyril fall asleep here again? Hmm. There's nothing to cover him with. He'll catch cold if he's here too long. Oh well. I guess I have no other options. I'll have to take care of this myself. What? What's happening? I'm keeping you warm so you don't catch cold. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Did I make you uncomfortable? I I was just surprised. Th thanks, Mercy. Oh, I'm happy to hear you call me that. You know, I seem to find you in here pretty often. Do you have a favorite book? Nah, but it's always real quiet here, so it's where I like to sleep. I see. You always seem so wrapped up in your work. That is, whenever you're not sleeping in the library. Do you have many friends here? No, not really. But don't you want some? Having friends is much more fun than spending all of your time alone. Nah, I don't want people treating me like an outsider. I'm better off alone. An outsider? You? Who would possibly say... Oh, so you don't think anyone thinks that? Should I tell you what happened to me before I came here? Oh no, you really don't have to. I'm curious about that. I didn't mean to bring up such difficult memories. But you know... Everyone here sees you as a friend. Even me. I see you as a good friend. Percy, I'm sorry. I sure like everyone here too, but... It feels like you're... I don't know. It sounds weird, maybe, but I think you're something different than a friend. Different? In what way? Do you not like me? No, it's not that. I can't... You know how sometimes you can't explain things? This is that. If I had a sister, I think that might be how it feels being around you. Oh. Really? just as well. You are 
remind me of my little brother. Oh, you got a brother? I do, but I haven't seen him in so long. It's almost like he's not really my brother anymore. But you can count on me if you need anything at all. I'll do my best to help you out. I can count on you for anything? Wow. Annette and Ingrid, okay. Ingrid? What's the matter, Annette? You look upset. I'm just so, so sorry. I had no idea. I'm not sure I follow. Take a breath. What's going on? Well, I was really curious about why you're not interested in things like makeup. Oh, I forgot so about I this. So I asked some of our friends about it, and... Oh, I see. I imagine they mentioned that my family was fairly poor, and they probably also mentioned that I lost my fiancé. Correct? They did. I'm so sorry. It was thoughtless of me to try pushing those things on you. It's perfectly fine, Annette. It's true, my family struggled financially. It wasn't easy growing up, but it taught me values I wouldn't have learned otherwise. And we weren't so poor that I consider myself deprived. I'm sure my family would have bought me makeup if I had wanted it. But it never mattered enough to me. Not then, and not now. Oh, so you just never sought that stuff out? Never. While I acknowledge it can be fun, fussing over my outward appearance isn't an instinct of mine. When I was younger, I'd usually be found covered in dirt, bugs in my hair, and a big smile on my face. Things haven't changed too much since. Then, when my fiancé passed on, my priorities shifted even further. It reminded me of what's most important in life. Beyond that, it's hard to think of myself changing without him around to see it, even if it's something trivial like how I present myself. But talking to you has helped me realize it's okay to loosen up and enjoy those things, if I want. So, thank you. Me? Oh, I didn't do anything at all. Except pester. More importantly, do you notice anything different about me today? Yes. It's very subtle, but I could tell right away that you were using that makeup I gave you. You could? Oh, that makes me happy. I was trying to apply it just how you showed me. You did great, and it really suits you. I think there's a lot I can learn from you, Annette. You've helped me embrace the lighter side of life I quite like. It's my pleasure. Ooh, this is so great. Wanna go shopping to celebrate? Uh, shopping? But what would we buy? That sounds so overwhelming. <laughs> There's a dress I've been eyeing for a while now. I'm certain it will complement your pretty eyes. Just leave it to me, Ingrid. I'll make you the most fabulous night this world has ever seen. Well, that does sound fun. I look forward to it. Okay, that was nice. Instruct automatically because everyone, I guess, is tired. It's not that I can blame them. did well enough. I'll say. Feeling pretty good about this. This will help keep me alive.
And again, just going to do automatically, just because obvious. And we have a birthday coming up. Shamir's birthday. I'll give you some flowers. Thank you. Game, you want to load? Here's the result. Well worth the effort. Technique never betrays. I'm gonna rest. Here we go. A scout has returned. As expected, there are quite a few Imperial soldiers stationed there. I see. So the enemy has prepared for our arrival. It matters not. I will kill them all, whether they are one or one hundred. That's not necessary. Don't say such things. What would you do if you saw the people who stole everything from you? If you saw them right before your eyes, living carefree lives and feeling no guilt? Would you feel nothing? Do nothing? Five years ago, did you not deem the woman who killed Gerald to be unforgivable? Of course. I am most certain that you did. You couldn't let her get away with her crime, so you took up your sword in pursuit. Yeah, and then Solon kill stole her. Seriously, you don't kill steal. You're not wrong. Precisely my point. We're the same, you and I. He's not wrong. You're wasting your time. There's nothing to be gained from exchanging words with a boar that has lost its mind. Felix? This is war. Every last one of us has lost someone we care for. But we all choose to suppress our anger and grief and go right on living. Do you know why? Because it's pointless. That's right. All the boar is accomplishing is stacking up more corpses. Tell me, Felix. If the dead are beyond reach, is it not also pointless to mourn or even bury those who are lost? That's a good point. <laughs> that mind of yours. I'm done here. Remember, Professor. It's not compassion for this fool that has brought our army so far. There are those of us who despise the Empire, and those who side with the Church. If we keep running down this path, it's only a matter of time before the ground beneath us collapses. That's enough, Felix. <laughs> You're a damned fool, old man. The soldiers are ready to march on your command. Then let's move out at once. Every moment counts. Understood. Let's show those Empire dastards the power of the Knights of Fargus. Let's do it. I'm gonna do some preparations real quick and I'll get right to the mission. Let's do it. This took quite a little while. But, it's time to get it started. I got some new weapons. Intent I... on the Imperial Capital. The Kingdom Army goes around the Agma Mountains and marches through Alliance territory as they continue south. But this route takes them through the territory of House Gloucester, Imperial supporters, so they request help from Claude. The leader of I House need to Reed. Grab a drink real fast. Yeah, Claude. Claude agrees to distract House Gloucester's soldiers. Archer boy. And the Kingdom Army marches onward toward the I Great like Bridge of Murden to cross the I'm saving the his house, 
missions for last because he seems Empire. somewhat disconnected from the rest of the story. I mean, he's kind of busy with a civil war in the Alliance, so... The Great Bridge Coup. Now, let's get everyone equipped. I'm happy with WoW that he is as, him, as he. Let's make sure you have a concoction. Where'd your Levin sword go? I didn't dispose of it, did I? I don't know. To be honest, I'd rather have Flame in this group. Ingrid, you're gonna take a break, honey. I'm bringing in Flame. However, I want Ingrid as my support. Combat art. Of course, you did just get friggin' Triangle Attack. Which, I gotta say honest, I kinda wanna see, but it's gonna have to wait. Let's do this. Defeat all enemy commanders, okay. That symbol. It's an enemy raid. Stay calm and face them head on. Send a messenger to Acheron immediately. If we're quick, we might be able to pull off a pincer attack. Nadelgaard's dog, huh? All the more reason to kill her. Attack Ladislava and take the bridge. Shall we begin? Let's do it. There is a lot here, but there she's calling in for reinforcements. Demonic beasts. Ferdinand's here. Let's go. Let's bring them in. I'll comply. Draw them in, okay? Oh, she's equipped with the eleven sword. That's where it went. I'm your girl. Thank you. My orders. What's the plan? At your service. I'll cut through. I'd be honored. Come on. I'll destroy you. 
Eventually, I too will fall. Yeah, I'm sure. That's the best. Don't strike. Jesus yeah. Christ, Dimitri! See you in the eternal flames. With each kill, more monstrous. To do? Your Highness, apologies for the late arrival. Son of a bitch, you're still alive. To do? You're alive? How? We can discuss it later. For now, allow me to join your forces. I am prepared. Keep my healers shielded. I owe you one. I'll handle this. Thank you for opening with a crit, Zero. No way I can lose here. Let you take this bridge from us? This no. Is no good. Reinforcements keep coming, and more will soon join them. Let's deal with the enemies protecting the fortress quickly and take control of this area. Enemies approaching. Get the soldiers standing by to join the fight. We may need to hurry up preparations of the ballista, too. Protect the fortress. All talk and no action. Her enemies are my enemies. Nobody's fool. Do they need you to move? Damn, those things are bulky. He's and Sylvain's no slouch when it comes to to us to offensive power. Here. That leads right to Ferdinand. Oh shit, they're coming in behind me! Ash, get to that ballista. I'm gonna send Felix in to help you get there. And on and Mercedes is a healer. from behind I've got to make my name known to her majesty through distinguished service Acheron a minor lord of the Alliance territory if he's fighting for the Empire we've no choice but to attack him <laughs> this 
This could turn the tides. No way I can lose here. Killer myself. weapons went back to a good god. They keep I, coming out Lawrence of work. Helman Gloucester have arrived to join the battle in my father's stead. Thanks for making your way here. Annihilate the enemy with the rest of them. Is that the professor? Why would someone like that join such a senseless fight? Lawrence, here you are. I am heading south, so I will leave this area to you. Nice work, Mercedes. Right. Not bad at all. I'm going up to help. I need to double back here. And help deal with the reinforcements. It was meant to be. I'm impressed. My only hope with that is to get a crit. On my honor as a knight. As they say, if you can't beat them, join them. I'm not in for a beating, am I? <laughs> you will regret this! God damn, Didu! I never should have aligned with the Empire. Yeah, you really shouldn't have. <laughs> I actually kind of liked that. That was actually funny. And if you can't beat them, join them! <laughs> I'm in for I a beating, I say. I for his highness. I love that. Brilliant. Crazy about that, if I'm gonna be honest. Flying out of harm's way.
It's been a while, Professor. If this were anywhere but a battlefield, I would offer you tea. I've no choice but to follow the Empire if I wish to live. I hope you will not think ill of me. I think if I had a positive... Oh, no. shit. I think if I would have a positive I've affinity with Lawrence, I'd be able to recruit him here. I must pull through. You have my support. Now's our chance. To oppose the Empire at a time like this would be entirely too reckless. I cannot lose! Lay me to rest in a manner that is befitting of the nobility. They really want you to feel the impact of killing him. All for our future. That staff is hers. Oh, After geez. this battle, I will be known far and wide as the legendary Ferdinand of Adrestia. Put the plan into action. <laughs> Another victory. I'm finally grasping this. This'll do it! You knew the odds. Majesty's favor, I will not let you pass. In the name of justice! I can't retreat. Even if it costs me my life, I've got to protect the Great Bridge. They're certainly dedicated. I want to see what the killing edge looks like. This is nothing. It looks like a katana. Lady Edelgard. Actually, no, it's so looks more like a wagayashi. Vladislava, no! I will protect this area. Hmm.
just a scratch. My strength building. I'll destroy you. Even if I die, please protect this area. It's a farce, all of it. Hmm. Well, that was certainly something. To do? Why? How are you here? You died five years ago. I was saved by my brothers, men of Dusker. The Paralog! His Paralog war for the weak. They never forget their favors. I'm willing to bet if you didn't do his Paralog, that they wouldn't come to save him. Those people you were with, they were of Dusker, and they saved you? Your Highness, I ask that you fulfill your long-held desire. Did I not? Allow me to once again act as your sword and shield. Please, let me witness your triumph. I want to behold the moment your wish is finally granted. To do? Of course. And in exchange, I ask that you swear something to me here and now. Do not ever throw your life away again. Understood? Your Highness. Understood. Well, I didn't expect that. Embracing death for the sake of that woman. Truly foolish. What troubles you, my friend? I... I don't know. Do you regret killing them? They were just beasts with human faces. Pots, kettles. I had no choice but to kill them, and so I did. That... that is all there is to it. There is regret there. It's about time you two returned. We must discuss our next course of action. Please, I need to join you no matter the cost. Who are you? I'm sorry, but my hands are tied. By the goddess, what's with all the commotion? What is this girl doing here? This is an army, not an orphanage. I believe she's from a nearby village. She keeps insisting that she needs to join our ranks. Who is this? And you this? thought we could use a child on the front lines? Hurry up and take her back to her parents. My family is gone. I don't have anywhere else to go. Please. I can use magic and I can fight. I can cook, do laundry, anything. We don't need a servant. I'm sure there are plenty of more suitable places to find work. Why are you so fixated on this army, young lady? Your services can be used to help protect a village. I need to get revenge. I must strike down the one who murdered my big brother. Okay. Your Highness, what should we do? Let her do as she pleases. Wow. I did. I Thank should have expected you. that, honestly. Very much. Dimitri knows the desire for revenge more than anyone here. Who is she? Again, Edelgard as invited to the tea party is a little awkward in this storyline. Part 2. Azure Moon. Great Tree Moon. Blood of the Eagle and Lion.
Now in control of the Great Bridge of Murden, the Kingdom Army begins to invade Imperial territory. In response, the Imperial Army garrisons soldiers at Fort Mercius. We have received a report from our spy. It would seem the okay. Empire is gathering troops at Fort Mercius. This is undoubtedly in response to us taking the Great Bridge of Murden. Their numbers are more than double ours. We believe that the Emperor herself may be leading them. <gasps> if House Regan can reconcile with House Gloucester sooner than later, then Claude can proceed with his plan to rally the Alliance Lords gather troops and invade Empire territory. At this rate, three military forces will be clashing at Grander Field. Just like five years ago, at the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. If you wish to indulge in nostalgia, do it elsewhere. I'm afraid the difference in military strength is far from negligible. While we are elite soldiers, I am still uneasy about this. If possible, I'd like to request reinforcements right away. If we can rely on any of the major kingdom houses for military support, it would be House Karen, I'd wager. Who? House Karen has yet to declare fealty to the Empire. It is also my home. I will make the request to my father. With things as they are, I don't think he can refuse. The Church has long protected me. I am certain that any request from the Church will be answered to the utmost of their ability. Very well. We're counting on you, Catherine. I suppose that is all we can do for now. So it would seem. Though, if there are any other avenues worth exploring, I would suggest... Allying with the Alliance? Ah, good point. We have no reason to engage the Alliance directly. Even if we do receive Count Karen's aid, we still won't have the troops we need to face the Empire. But if we join forces with the Alliance, then our numbers will rival the Empire's. Well, let's do it. Agreed. It's about the only thing we can do. For now, let's send a messenger and try to figure out what the Alliance hopes to achieve. It's hard to believe this decisive battle will take place at Grander Field. I imagine that place is full of memories for all of you. We won the Battle of the Eagle and Lion back in the day. It seems like a lifetime ago. I can't help but remember, even though I wish I didn't. Our feast after the battle. I remember it well. We all had so much fun together. No! Please, stop it. I had finally put all of that out of my mind. This isn't right. They're our friends. We used to study together. We shouldn't be fighting them. We don't have a choice, Annette. Why not march up to Her Majesty and a reminder of that? Oh, that's right. Because you want to live to see tomorrow. <laughs> well said, Sylvain. No matter who the enemy is, I will fight for His Highness. Tell me, Boar Prince, do we stand a chance? Who knows? If we lose, we'll have died for you. I hope you know that. That's enough, Felix. We must focus on the battle ahead. Make your peace before we depart. It's kill or be killed out there. We will cross blades with the Empire, but it's possible we will also have to strike down the Alliance. Your Highness, do you feel no hesitation about killing your former friends? I'm used to killing familiar faces by now. You are demented, Dimitri. Sleep. You. Need. Sleep. We all need sleep. I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on... Fire Emblem Three Houses. 
As I probably do a seminar... Actually, I'll probably just rest and do some manual instructions. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.